Get away from him, you bastard! <laughs> Gotta see that. Oh my god, go elsewhere. Gotta see that's Mark. Yeah. Run! Shut up. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny, this is my beautiful wife Montana, this is Hogarth, this is Waddles, and this is Rue. And today we're going to be reacting to Season 1, Episode 6 of Invincible. You look kind of dead. What could that possibly mean? <laughs> well, wait, well, never mind. After the Battle Beast just ran through yeah, his whole team. He did look kind of dead after that. But if you're excited for this episode of Invincible, make sure to hit like, comment, and subscribe down below with, for new episodes coming every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes right now, they're all posted to Patreon in their extended full-length forms, along with, uh, I think, the first episode of Season 2. Are we excited for Episode 6 of Invincible? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Heads. This video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Hey, I need my costume. What, this book has Maybe all the clues on Omni Man. Might have been there to help the guardians on their blast. Oh yeah, and what condition is he in? Probably bad. I'm not sure I want to do this anymore. He got his arm oh, torn off. Whatever you need. These oh my god. So crazy. I thought Mark would be here tonight. He really did. <laughs> yeah, he, he has other things to deal with. Yeah. I thought that was duplicate. Hmm. Why were you hiding in the bushes? Oh my god! I wasn't hiding in the bushes. I was drinking in the bushes. But that's not important. What's important is that I'm motherfucking Doug Cheston. Um. Very cool, Doug. Who? My dad owns Cheston Pharmaceutical, and like half this universe. Like. Half this university. Didn't your dad <laughs> hike up prices hmm. on that baby medicine everyone needs? Totally. Probably. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna inherit all that shit soon because my dad's mad old. So, <laughs> you one or ideally all of you wanna have sex tonight and get in on the ground floor of my inheritance? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Ew. Oh. You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> yeah, we soon. <laughs> it's me. I'm what you're missing. Me and my huge. Oh. Fun. Um. Oh boy. What? Why are they capturing him? Hey, where am I? Is he like an implantation host, maybe? You're confused, but I'm sure you're used to that. <gasps> oh. And still, and soon you'll be feeling better than ever. What? You're going through a metamorphosis, a miracle that will take you from useless boil on the behind of this crooked world. To a brave explorer charting a shining future for all humanity. Nerd! <laughs> Don't love the way he's like wielding that, that scalpel. You You're a nerd, nerd. You're the one who's <laughs> Good one. Hey! Let me up, asshole! Do we know this voice actor? Oh, oh my, my god. god. Yeah, we do. He's the time traveler from Gravity Falls. That's it. Oh. No histrionics, please. What the fuck did you do? Or D.A. Sinclair. I think we can all agree you're better without vocal cords. Oh my god. And don't worry about those prototypes. You're going to be different. You're going to be beautiful. You're going to be in... More blood. Wow. You're going to be a bit... So, what do we make of that scene? So wow. somebody's just cybernetically They're enhancing. trying to make superheroes. Try, yeah. Horrifying wow. superheroes. Oh my god. Just cut out his vocal cords? That was crazy. That's really scary and gross. Oh my god. Um, wow. Alright. God, they all look so bad. Yeah. Oh. All battle beasts. Good lord. 
Must be the same name. Blood pressure's cratering. Someone get Dr. Barclay in here. I'm getting a line started. Find out what kind of blood she can take. The needle won't go in. Yeah. Oh God. Oh yikes. I've studied Monster Girl's physiology extensively. Please stand aside. What? Get him out of here! Security! You can attempt to remove me. You may even succeed. But then she dies. Or you can assist me and we can save her life. Choose now. What is his goal in all of this? Because he cares about them. Mm-hmm. Monster Girl's only hope is if we can activate her innate healing abilities. Begin a saline infusion of 2% belladonna root, 5% wolfsbane. We don't have that. <laughs> then get it. Clear. Again. I don't know if he makes it. That was really bad. That, yeah. Going to max charge? Well, and just plot-wise, I feel like all of them surviving wouldn't One really make time. sense. Yeah. Whoa, does his suit back? have a defibrillator? defibrillator? Wait. Did he just get his powers back or something? What just happened? I, I have no idea. No way. That's what that seems like. Just something fine happened now? there. Like something. Yeah. Something like reset or something. Oh. oh. And he just let this happen? Why did he do this? This is really bad. Mark. Mark. Mark? Mom. It is kind of the ultimate way of deflecting suspicion. I knew you'd pull through. For what? I don't think he wanted to kill those other heroes. He would do it easily if he wanted to. No, I mean more in the sense of like... Because that was a random fight. Yeah, maybe like if Omni-Man is thinking that the people who are... I don't know that he thinks that people are tracking him, but if they were having like the bad guys who he would be working with beat up his son, I don't makes think it seem like he's not. Working with bad no? guys. Okay. Like, I think this is just him testing Mark somehow. Huh. Which is just crazy. Okay. Maybe he's gonna say you can't hold back next time you have to all the time just be ruthless. Like, maybe Interesting. that's like. We'll have a reference point, it's but mm -hmm. it's crazy. I knew you'd pull through. Oh. How long was I out? Six days. Six days? No. Holy shit. No, no, I, I was supposed to. Uh, um, Amber's gonna be Amber. pissed. I covered for you. Told her you got hit by a bus, which from the looks right. of you isn't far off. Black Samson? Monster Girl? Still unconscious. It's not your fault. Dark blood crack yet? You know him. He barely talks when he wants to. Let me take a swing. I'll make him talk. As fascinating as it would be to watch an unstoppable force meet an immovable object, <laughs> I prefer to keep these kind of things in the house. I love that. That's him. funny. He's such a good actor. Did he, he would, did he murder the guardians? We don't know. <laughs> What's more interesting to me is why he would do it. He's a demon. Is your why? I thought I knew him. That's all. Mark never told you he was taking on Machine Head all by his lonesome? Yeah, he told me. Told me he wasn't going to take the bait. <laughs> What's so funny about that? You're the most powerful man on the planet. But even your kid won't listen to you. What, this doesn't happen on Viltrum? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Mark's a human teenager, no one. It's what they do. It's reassuring, really. Oh. You do look like you got run over. <laughs> because he's more. It's, anytime that he's like demonstrating his humanness instead of his Viltrumiteness, that's a problem. Yeah, and it's also him saying it's reassuring, really, like that knowing he's still human, like saying he's your human son. Wow. Yeah. That's interesting. So that's maybe he me. wants to be more like a Viltrumite. No maybe they're more brutal. Well, yeah, and I mean, that's why he's kind of being a dick to his wife. Yeah. yeah they had uh, weird rules about visitors. Eve only knew I was there because uh, she heard from William. What? I basically already dumped you that night. I know, and I've thought a lot about that these last couple of days. Remember when I first called you? After you made Todd give me your number? 
Yeah. I was terrified and I could barely talk straight and I messed it all up. But you let me start over. And? Can we do that again? Start over? You're right. Yeah, I don't deserve to start over. Hey, handsome Mark Grayson. I'm glad you've still got that pretty face of yours. <laughs> Me too. So, uh, want to hang out sometime? Sure. I feel like I'm intruding. All right, here. yeah. This is. <laughs> both ways, Mark. You need to look both ways before you cross the street. Did you skip kindergarten the day they taught that? <laughs> Guess so. Hey, hmm. hung out for a while. We should because someone's the king of excuses. I've got to study. I need to help my dad with work. I'm this could be dentist, someone he tells. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember Rick? <laughs> the guy you couldn't stop talking about last summer? You make it sound like I was obsessed or something. Anyway, he's at Upstate U. I'm going for a tour on Friday. Stay huh. over. They have a very mm -hmm. handsome pre-med program. Did I say handsome? I meant world class, but I'll <laughs> Can I come? What? I want to come. Okay. And I want to bring Amber. Hold on. Please, William. I need this. Eve! <laughs> Come in. Mark, I wanted you... I never got to thank you for talking to Amber when I was hurt, so... Thanks. Going somewhere? Oh, this uh, guy William's crushing on goes to upstate you. William's going for a tour, and I convinced him to let me and Amber tag along. Oh. I'm sorry. Um, if you want to come, that's totally cool. I'm just trying to start over with Amber, you know? Show her I'm serious this time. That's okay. I'm skipping college anyway. What? Why? Your grades are way better than mine. When I was at the community center with Amber, something clicked for me. I think I can help more people by just helping them, you know? I can irrigate deserts. Stop natural disasters. Bring food yeah. to the starving. You know, make a real difference. Yeah, I get it. Like immediately. Huh. Yeah, she can like, transmogify stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really messed up downtown. Black Samson and Monster Girl almost died because of me. So, I get it. Maybe fighting off alien invasions isn't in either of our futures. Maybe we both need a fresh start. Mark, William and Amber are here. Okay, mom. So we're. Oh, and she's in his room. Okay. Yeah. Okay, be careful. Don't have too much fun. No drinking, no drugs, and no sex. <laughs> uh, no sex. <laughs> Got it. I'll take good care of them, Mrs. Grayson. Perfect. Tell me more about this red guy. Weird. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for you to meet him. He's like, first of all, tall, amazing hair, thick as a horse's mane. That's good. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Rick's style, a perfect combo of street and prep. Did I mention his teeth? Little white bricks of joy. <laughs> Little white oh, bricks no. of joy. Interesting. So oh. I won't be long. Gripping her purse. Oh, come along. You're on a deadline for the book. Isn't that what you told me, or was I mistaken? No, that's right. Then you've got work to do, don't you? <laughs> oh, shit. He knows he's in trouble. Yeah. Oh, it must have moved slightly or something, he realized. <gasps> yeah, because it's been replaced. I mean, uh oh, <laughs> dude. He's terrifying. Yeah. Wow. She's done with the bullshit, it seems. Yeah, it doesn't seem like she's even trying to, like, hide the fact that she knows from him, which yeah. I feel like is very dangerous. Yeah. But I guess when you've had it, you've had it. You yeah. About Rick. Ooh, except that we get it. You're in love with the guy. What? No. I mean, Rick's amazing, but love him? No. Oh my God, here he comes. William, come here. What's up, Rick? These are my friends, Mark and Amber. <laughs> We've heard so much about you. Hey, nice to meet you guys. Let me grab your bags. I got my dorm room all set up for us. I like the way you talk. All right, he seems nice. Oh, no. It's going to be a great weekend. All right. I just don't understand why you can't do your new superhero helping job from here. You know why. <sighs> you don't understand anything. 
The back door is still That'd there. be a nice power. I'm not gonna watch you ruin your life on some hippy dippy find yourself bullshit. Adam. I mean it. Give up this superhero crap. You can't save the world, Samantha. It's gonna get you killed. The worst day of my life was when you got powers. Ah. Uh. Wow, that hurt more than I thought it would. I just want what's best for you. A normal life, a house, a husband, kids. That's what's best for you, Dad, not for me. Samantha! You get your feet back <laughs> She fixed the door. Now. Yeah. Bye, Mom. Or what? Bye, Dad. Samantha! Like, you have no power. No. Absolutely none at all. The best med schools in the country. That's why I arranged a little biology class sit-in for you guys. Oh, that's nice. Med, right, William? Oh, yeah. missing. The guy has been in. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's the same campus. It may look the same from the outside, but the chance of heart failure doubles with each decade of life. What can we do about that? Eat better? Sure. Exercise helps, but fundamentally our parts wear out. Our focus is therefore on extending quality of life, even if we can't extend life itself. Oh, please. Ah, Mr. Sinclair, once again, it seems you have an opinion to share. <laughs> I have the truth to share. Oh. Who's the dick? <laughs> Sinclair. He's here on a oh. genius grant, and make sure everyone knows it. A genius grant? When you want to travel quickly, you don't run, you get in a car. When you need to fly to another country, you don't flap your arms, you get on a plane. We're all aware how travel works, Mr. Sinclair. <laughs> your point? We're machines, and the sooner we recognize that, the sooner we'll reach our true potential. Dramatic much? I'm sorry. I'm not. You're being a jerk. What's your problem, Sinclair? My problem? My problem is this school of idiots. <clears throat> MIT courted me. Yale offered me a lab. You should take it. <laughs> You're impressive, Rick. Muscular, assertive, classic alpha male. Hey, don't say those compliments to him. Mr. Sinclair, you can return when you're ready to learn. Then I'll see you at exams, Rick. He's going to go after Rick. Mm-hmm. We've heard too much about him. Well, I like the view. And she could just make a house? Oh, awesome. That is so cool. This is one of the coolest powers. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Was it just me, or was that DA guy checking you out? <laughs> I bet you have that problem a lot. <laughs> Please. He's fishing. For him. He needs <laughs> friends more than anything. If you two want some time to wander, we can meet back here in a few hours. That's a great idea. See you both back here in a while. It's okay if you're late. Come on. <laughs> let's go see what this place is really like. Oh, Jonathan Groff is Rick. Oh, very cool. You remember him? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the king. Yes. Wow. The lead of Book of Mormon and one of the leads in... Hamilton. Hamilton. Aw. <laughs> this is so normal of them. Yeah. Oh, She thought he left again. Cute. You're all smiles now. <laughs> yeah. I guess I kind of like it here. What do you think about coming here? Together, I mean. If you want that to happen, you need to get your grades up, Mark Grayson. <laughs> You're aware you need to apply to college, right? I'm serious. I think this is what I want. You know, when you start a sentence with I think, you automatically murder- His goals are changing after this is losing. I'm, you and me, here, together. Wait a minute. Interesting. Oh, I just thought about the fact that prior to getting his body nearly destroyed, he like quit his job. He was like, what about if I don't want to go to college? Like, mm -hmm. like he was so on this track of just not really caring. And like, then it happened. He's like, I actually kind of want to be normal because that was too much. Yeah. Do you think that's what's going on? 100%. Wow. You and me here together. Okay. Really? Sure. Why not? Hey, lovebirds. Did you have a good time? Oh. Don't know. Oh. What the hell 
I bet that's him, the missing oh, guy. Oh yeah, you're totally right. Yeah, I can't speak. Ah. Uh. <sighs> he's got a. Where is Mark? I think he's trying to change into his costume, I guess. Oh no. Come on. Go fight, buddy. Go oh, fight, oh, fight, oh. fight. He kind of took a long fucking time to start doing anything. Him, Doesn't want to reveal who he is, I guess. Yeah. Oh! Oh no. Mark! Oh, very cool. Gotta see that. Oh my god, go elsewhere. Gotta see that's Mark. Yeah. Run. Shut up. So now he knows. Okay. That was kind of a cool moment. I like that reveal. That was cool. Whoa. This guy's powerful. You really got in hands. Yeah. This is where he has the advantage in the air. Yeah. Well, and this guy's also brand new with powers. Yeah. Oh yeah, and he just—he wasn't all the way healed either. Oh jeez. Oh no, is he gonna get like PTSD here? He's just not strong enough. Oh my god, you! Oh! What the hell? Oh my god. Okay. Shit. Holy shit! You're invincible! You are. Shh, hey, invincible. please! You can't tell anyone. I can't believe this! It all makes sense now! Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! William! <sighs> Are you okay? No, I'm definitely not okay. I mean, I am okay, I'm just, wow. Who was that? That, that was my invincible. William, <laughs> you saved my life. What, me? I mean, yes, of course I did. He threw the cans, I mean, he yeah. did. Guys, he did save uh, his life. Mm -hmm. on their way. Where the hell did you go? Um, I ran for help. I, I tried to get security, oh, but there wasn't anyone. lying piece of Wait, shit. No. You left us here with, that thing! Amber, no, I, that, that's not what happened. You said Tell you her. to start over. You said that. You promised. Even Eve vouched for you, and then- He's gonna say, I'm in the- No, no, I guess not. He's already done the towel card. Eve oh. was wrong about you. So was I. Wait! Amber! I turn my back for one second, and the ungrateful half-wit slips away. That's it. That's the last time I leave anyone's frontal lobe intact. Oh my god. Oof. Yep, he's going after. Oh no, her. he's gonna pick him. God. Yeah, so it's him. Oh so my god. Weird. That scene was crazy. Wow. That was a really good scene. I really like the reveal to his friend. The there. like, oh yeah. Like uh, while holding middle of battle, like rather than just like a, well, I'm, I'm invincible. Like, right. Yeah. You know, I just, I was, ugh. Oh, I feel bad for that guy. Yeah, I mean, he was a massive dick, but that doesn't, that's... Uh, I'm talking about the freak of nature, the... Oh, oh, at yeah. the beginning, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's just beyond fucked up. Yeah. Um, and Rick's such a good guy. If he gets him, that's gonna be horrifying. That's gonna be really, really sad. Ugh. Yeah. Ah, okay. Dude has no morality. No, really none at all. I don't know how he's gonna be able to talk his way out of this one with Amber, because... 
Dude. Even the argument of like, oh no, like I went to go get help because that was like the best thing to do in that situation or whatever. He still left her. Yeah. You know, I don't like, understand why he's not telling her at this point. Yeah. If he, it seems like he's pretty serious about it. So I tell her. Yeah. Definitely, he's out of excuses. Yeah. Like at this point, he either needs to tell her or break up with her, but he yeah. can't just keep stringing her along like this. Mm hmm. So she can just search the world, live in. see what she wants to do. I don't like those interferon counts. We need to do something about that. Oh my God. What? Um. <sighs> those are normal levels for Monster Girl. She has a curse, not a disease. When she was injured, I immediately dispatched a drone to the Arctic. Oh. This is a cerulean cosmos. It contains a unique molecule oh, 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 oh. that adds 60% to her chances of survival. Use biomass sonification to extract the primary compounds, then call me for isolation and purification. Imagine going to med school and then just one day, yeah, a robot's like, put this in a pill. Yeah. <laughs> Samson, good I got to it from way. Antarctica. Yeah. Why does he care so much for her? Mm -hmm. How does a machine have emotions? I'm programmed to care for all humans. I beg to differ. You didn't get your ass whooped in the Arctic for me. Hey, yeah, like sacrifice to another one of his potties, I guess. Mm -hmm. I take it we won. Thanks. Uh, thanks for coming. Oh, brought to the costume you guy. You drink or something? You want to sit first, catch up? Thanks, Art, but... I know. I know. Just trying to put it off. I spent the last few days going over it top to bottom. Like you asked. Show me. You sure, Deb? <sighs> See these flecks? They look like gold, but they're much harder. I've only seen them one other place. War Woman's armor. Oh. Sodium crystals. Aquarius. Those are from Darkwing's throwing weapons. He's tangled with a few of my other clients. Oh. Because the weapons are very unique. They wouldn't oh, use them on him. Friction. Oh, okay. Real fast. Red Rush. Oh, yeah. They, these are all things that would only happen if he was being attacked by them. Okay, this is right. This only proves and that proves. The fought. Maybe they attacked him first. Maybe, maybe he was trying to protect their legacy. But there's also this. Blood begins to oxidize when exposed to air. I measure it. See how long since it was spilled. But did all of theirs oxidize first? This is the oldest blood on the suit. Nolan struck first. Oh. Don't tell anyone. Not Cecil. No one. Oh Daddy, boy. I'm too scared to tell anyone. Oh my god. Oh no. Amber, I was trying to help. Holy shit. Oh my god, that's like... I mean, that's a very smart way of ruling out that he had just, like, been around everyone while they were all fighting together. Yeah, he threw the first punch. Oh mm -hmm. my god. Well, that he threw the first punch and everyone, all the other guardian, the other guardians were directing their attacks at him. Yeah, that's, like the friction that's not, like, burns. Like... Yeah, that's not the same thing as, like, oh, you were fighting next to someone and some of their blood ended up on you. Like, yeah. wow. Holy crap. So oh, what no. is he going to do? Can they both know? Like, that's such a huge deal for Art and Deb, but Nolan knows, too, now? Nolan knows I mean, they all they kind know. of found out at the same time, oh. I guess, so... Oh, boy. Not good. I... This is about to blow up. Yeah. Amber, I was trying to help. He's so scary. There's no way I'm sharing a room with you tonight. Uh, well, that's my bedroom, but okay. That's cool. Mark, you can bunk out here with He's us. He's upset. Oh, yeah, totally. Sorry. <laughs> oh, don't sweat it. I'll go down to the store and grab some beer. Maybe by then things will cool down and we can get this weekend back on track. I'll stay here. Make sure that he's going to get attacked. Oh, I didn't realize. Are you kidding yeah. me? Perfect. I'll just go out by myself. I feel gross. I'm taking a shower. You're invincible. Not now, man. Sorry, sorry, but holy shit, you're invincible! <sighs> and you never told me. 
<laughs> that face was really funny. Oh, she can just change the fire. <gasps> why not? That's awesome. See, this is what I mean. New we trees. Need, we need this. And grew the trees? Yeah. Oh, come on. Stopped the avalanche. This is amazing. Her powers are perfect for this. Oh. Yeah, this is what she This is doing. the superpower I would want. Yeah. This is awesome. Your progress is satisfactory. Satisfactory? You know how hard it is to grow cells this quickly? Yes, that's why I hired you. No. What's it for? And whose DNA do you steal? Your work doesn't require answers to those questions. Why is Maybe. he making another Rex explode? Mm -hmm. Your work does require payment. When it's complete. Then we might just leak liquid ammonia into the growth chamber. Who cells don't like liquid ammonia? <laughs> you will receive the schematics when you finish your work and not a moment sooner. Yeah. The schematics fine. is the payment, we'll not oh. money. Huh. Trust him. <laughs> then we need some insurance. Grab a shovel. How long have you been a superhero? Will huh. you, um, three months? Six months? Longer? Stop. I'm your best friend. Best friends don't not tell best friends they're superheroes. Take me flying. No, I don't even want to be invincible anymore. Shut your Yeah, mouth. clearly. You being a superhero is the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. Amber will forgive you. She always does. I'm not so sure this time. Yeah, you might be right. Now take me flying or I'm going to tell everyone you're invincible. Wow! Woo! Yeah. There, okay? Can I try it on? What? Your suit. Can I try it? Absolutely not. I really thought he was going to walk out in the suit. <laughs> I know. Who? Oh? Who is that? Yeah. Nice person? Sorry. Yeah. I'm going to scare you. It's fine. That's a scary fucking thing to do, so, okay. Good for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Amber. Low-key mega party at our house tonight? A fraternity. Yeah, but like the okay kind that isn't super mm. cute. Mm. Oxymoron. No, no, no. No. On FaceTime? Well, at least they would know if something happened. Yeah. Yikes. Well... I'll be back soon and we can deal with it. She's looking with oh wait no. Okay. okay. Rick, oh. You there? Hello? Mark! Amber! She just left. Got invited to some party. Oh, oh. shit. Should I have gone after her? Get up. Something happened to Rick. We were on the phone and it cut off. We need to look for him. I need to go after Amber. What? Just call him back. He's not answering. You don't want my help. Every time I try to be a hero, I make things worse. What if it's that thing from earlier? You saw me kill it. It killed itself. Whatever. It's dead. Look, call me if you really can't find Rick, but I gotta go after Amber first. Sorry. Oh no. He did something to the other guy so fast. That's the weird thing. Yeah. I feel better than ever. Almost like before I lost my powers. Then rejoin the team at Guardians HQ. I will remain here until Monster Girl recovers. Yeah. Alright. See you later. I think he does have his powers. Hmm. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. No, it's okay. You Why does he care so much? Ugh, my head. Do we win? Black Samson asked the same question. <laughs> yes, we won. In great part due to your sacrifice. Oh, thank God. I'm happy you're awake. Your recovery was tenuous at times. You stayed with me I never left oh no my god oh, and he's gonna be so scared and it's gonna so he just brought reveal. beers Beers or yeah, the full beers. Hey, Amber, right? You showed. <sighs> Rick. Maybe not the greatest. Why are we doing there. this? Rick. 
I'm gonna call Invincible at this there? point, but that's that's just me. I'm not gonna wade into the sewer. Oh, come yeah, on. like he's definitely been taken somewhere. Oh shit! Oh jeez. And you, you dressed him in plaid. <laughs> you know he had to wear that suit when he met the president. Well, uh, let that be a lesson to you. Bet you he kills him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh. What's the matter, Art? You seem a little nervous. No, no, just uh, tired. Uh, lots of repairs this week. I bet. It's funny how quickly things can fall apart. One day, it seems like you have all the time in the world, and then the next, it's gone. No. Nah, don't listen to me. I just wanted to swing by and make sure our partnership is still going strong. Like you said, never piss off. Oh, with the dad, head. Right? Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 he's being so weird. It's oh. not all parties. There's a ton of great programs here. The profs are solid, the labs are new. What? You're a little nerdy for a frat guy. <laughs> My girlfriend says the same thing. She's transferring here next semester. I miss her a ton. All right, good on him for bringing her up right away. I was. Not now, William. I, I can't hear you. I'll see you back at Rick's door. Oh! Okay, you had to go. Go. Okay. Go. So it's just a full on robot, no frontal lobe, no thinking. Mm hmm. This is another one of the people who's lost on the wanted poster. Why? The same thing I'm about to do with you. Wait, he already did it to Rick? Oh. Oh no. Okay. Oh no. Oh god. This is terrible. Oh, that's that terrifying. That's too many. Pulling him underwater. Oh, in a sewer. Oh. Jesus Christ. Excellent. I'm afraid I witnessed that first scrap and made a few small improvements. Holy shit. Uh, Mark! Invincible! He's turning people into those things! You make me sound like a monster. I'm not turning people into anything. I'm fixing humanity's weaknesses. Why don't you fix yourself, buddy? That yee ass haircut. Sorry. I was gonna say, that's a lot coming from someone with an inverted Willow's Peak. Yeah, come Widow's on. Widow's Peak. Yeah, Jesus. come on. You got the M for Mark over there. Oh, oh no! Rick. Oh! Stop! Don't do I thought he was no gonna be fine. I removed them myself. Oh no. no! It's just all gone. Ah! Oh! That's so sad. That He's just really gonna eat awful. it, Rock. Rick, it's us. It's me. We met last year at the lake. That's unfortunately not how that works. He's not fighting him. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. Oh, that personal? No! Oh! Oh! Rick, it's me. Help us. He's still in there. Oh. No. No. Stop. Oh no. Oh, that was just a uh, inhibitor chip. Okay. Oh, this is so tragic too. This is they're really just gross. Guys. This is really gross. You brutes have set humanity back decades. You're not going anywhere, asshole. <laughs> Hell yes. Yeah. 
Good. Don't you understand? This is about progress, science, saving the human race from disease. Yeah. Deserved. Oh. Mm, no. Hopefully he can just become a superhero, maybe. But part of his brain is gone, you know? Yeah. Like, he's not gonna be the same even if he's not... Just lost it. ...completely dead. Don't beat yourself up. I would have done the same thing. What are you gonna do with him? I figure the classic lock him up and throw away the key. Impressive technology, though. Oh. Especially for something built in a sewer. Sick, you mean. Mm -hmm. Hard to believe they gave you a run for your money like that. This guy's in bad shape. Sounds like he's looking for ideas. Uh huh. Best. Go home, kid. I'll take it from here. Oh. And he literally said he operates in the gray area. That feels mm -hmm. like what this is. Oh, that's but going so back sad. to his room too. Yeah. That's horrible. Oh. What did he do? I bet he killed him. Why? Whoa. Why what? Why did you do it? I didn't do anything. Don't lie to me! I know! I know you killed them, Nolan! You're drunk. We'll talk about this tomorrow. Yeah. Fuck you, Nolan. Whoa. Oh. Holy oh. shit. Okay. That's our post credit scene. But dang, she just came right out with it. Oh yeah, they were digging a body for insurance. Mm hmm I don't know, man. My stepdad could lose his job. Oh no, this White is different. This. Stop being a wuss, Matt. This is gonna be epic. And when it's oh, over, this will be the guy from the beginning. Shots. You sure? We saved his dad from the burgers from this guy. Schnapps. We dig up the immortal, drink from his skull, and wham! We get his powers. Easy as shit, man. It's just a rumor. Dude, I saw it on Reddit. <laughs> Don't believe everything you read on the internet. Kids. Oh. Wait, so they're digging up a immortal. Okay. One of the Guardians of the Globe. The like originals? Yeah. Wow. So that's where we're left for this episode. Omni Man's closing in on their location. Let's bring the hammer down. <laughs> what? Why is he arching like that? <laughs> what? That's the hammer. Oh my god. Oh. That animation? Wow. What are your first thoughts? It's about to hit the fan. It really is. I can't believe Deb told Nolan so fast. You know, I kind of can in one way. She knows after all the time she spent with him, everything she's done and the fact that she has no powers, he wouldn't lay a finger on her. Like, I feel like it's her calling his bluff. Like, prove to me how bad you are, if you are. I, I don't know. It, but that was wild that she just came out with it immediately. And yeah. she said, don't tell anybody. Just, just wanted to say that. What is going to happen? And is she going to tell Mark? She has to, right? Yeah. That is going to be crazy. Yeah, I don't see her not telling him, but I also can't imagine how he would respond to that. We're going to have to see, but that's what we're left for this episode of Invincible. Make sure to hit like, comment, and subscribe down below with, for new episodes coming every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes right now, they're all posted to Patreon in their extended full-length forms, along with, uh, I think, the first episode of Season 2. We have a lot to discuss, but before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's review. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to support us as creators and ask us questions after every episode and see episodes early, join the Patreon link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. All right, Ashton asks, if the only thing keeping Omni-Man calm and passive was being perceived as innocent by others, most importantly his family, how do you think his personality will shift now that Debbie has called him out for the, like, killing the Guardians of the Globe? Do you feel he may 
finally face the consequences now or will he embrace his actions dropping the act and show his true colors yeah i think he's gonna double down um because there's really no reason for him to keep up the act but i also think he's gonna be furious that he was found out exposed he wasn't smart enough to keep it under wraps like that kind of yeah anger and reaction i feel like if he's been keeping up an act i'm terrified to see what like the true nolan is really like exactly and i think he's going to come out because now there's no reason not to except mark he might act the same to mark Mm. maybe but i I think his mom's gonna tell him though we'll see i don't know he's away right now you know like maybe you'll get to him first it's possible who knows but uh definitely something big's about to happen question two saw meadow asks what do you think of william finding out that mark is invincible do you think it is accurate to how you would react to realizing someone you know is a superhero yeah totally (laughs) because he was like geeking out just like stunned shocked and a million questions and including asking for flights yes yeah, I feel like pretty much every component of the way he responded is something that I would do if I met a superhero. Yeah. Or one of my friends ended up being a superhero. Yeah, I really love the way that they introduced it. Like, and then the follow through. Like, I wonder if he's going to tell Mark he should tell Amber. Um, I'm sure he will. Yeah, I'm still not over too. like all the crap that happened to, uh, was it Hank or? No. What was his name? I forget, but like they were just really... They were really cute together. And it's so sad that like we didn't get like a save him moment. It was like a, yeah, that already just happened. just gone. Ugh. Yeah. Terrifying. Yeah, that's devastating. And he did that so fast. Like I yeah. he was on the search for him during that call. Like think about how much time must have passed. Not much. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, RIP. Well, I mean, maybe he'll come back in like some form. They said they'll maybe fix his brain. Maybe. Do you not see anything happening? I just like, there are all of these like neuroscience and psych experiments that we read about in school where like someone would have an injury or like some kind of illness that would take out a portion of the brain and even if you can like theoretically survive like if somehow the damage avoided the critical parts of your brain you're still not you like there's still like i don't i don't see them being able to like put his brain back together so even if he doesn't just fully die i don't think he's going to be the same sad but i don't know there's advanced science so maybe but also it didn't seem like he was super uh it didn't seem like cecil was super like keen on fixing him as much as he was fascinated by how effective the technology was against mark yeah 100 percent. which is not good no uh let's go to our final question final question Nab Shani asks, in this episode, we see Eve use her powers to directly help the people heroes are sworn to protect. Given how powerful she could be in combat, do you think this is more productive to society or a waste? And what can other heroes and even their own parents learn from seeing what she accomplished in one day? I think it's absolutely a more productive use of her powers and just better for society in general. Yeah. Um, It's less like heroic in a stereotypical sense. Like you're not like flying in with your fist out, but like you're making such a massive difference in people's day-to-day lives. You know, it's when you're thinking about like the big picture, which I just realized it's a very interesting comparison to see Eve doing that right when Nolan's on his whole, we need to think big picture shtick. Yeah. Because you think like, okay, yeah, heroes should think big picture, but like if you can help a lot of people a little bit, that's a different kind of big picture. Yeah. But it was just kind of less self-aggrandizing. Yeah. And she like really was like her powers specifically are so built for that kind of help. Like that's very true. If Nolan was running around, like he would not be able to do the things she was doing. Like she was fundamentally stopping natural disasters and healing them directly after as if they didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Like that's just another level of power. The ending the fire and then replacing the forest with even bigger trees. Like the best that Nolan would have been able to do is like put out the fire either with you know water or just like flying around it really fast and, yeah you know whatever it would not be as good so eve's approach is a lot more holistic and it just it works better we'll see uh if she continues just doing that or if she's somehow called back into the fight but that is where we're left for episode six of invincible are we excited for episode seven can't wait all right let's get it let's go let's go